On one day, the 10th of August, Balram Bania went missing. He went out of contact with his family and office. Initial reports say that he was swept away in a river after falling from a bridge. His body was found on Tuesday, but the identity could not be ascertained immediately. His face was badly damaged. It was only yesterday that the local police confirmed that the body they had discovered was of Balram Bania. Journalists from various media organizations in this Himalayan Republic are coming together to demand justice. Justice for Balram Bania. The assistant editor of one of the most widely read newspapers in Nepal, the Kantipur Daily. He was just 50 years old and he is said to have been somebody who never capitulated to pressure. You see, Balram Bania was famous for being one of the most vocal critics of the Chinese regime's influence in Nepal. Off late, he had been publishing a lot of anti-China commentary. On your screen is a front page story by him that was published on the 10th of June, an extensive report on Chinese encroachment in Nepalese territories. This report created a huge controversy. The Chinese did not take it well. They forced the Nepal government to issue a press release condemning this report. They asked Balram Bania to retract his claims.